Here's how you can add the two fractions, one-third plus seven-eighths. The key is that we can get these denominators here to be the same. If we do that, then we can just add the numerators together, and we'll have the sum for one-third plus seven-eighths. Probably the easiest way to do this would be to multiply three times eight. That would give us 24. Then over here, eight times three, that would also give us 24, and we'd have the same denominators. But we can't just multiply the denominators, we also have to multiply the numerators. So over here for one third, let's multiply it by eight over eight. That's because eight divided by eight is one. So we're multiplying one third by one, it doesn't change anything, just the way it's represented. Over here, since we have three in the denominator, let's multiply that by three as well. Three over three is one, but now eight times one is eight. 8 times 3 is 24. Over here, 7 times 3, that's 21. 8 times 3 is 24. Since we have the same denominators, we're just going to add the numerators together. 8 plus 21 is 29. And then when we add fractions, we just bring the denominator across if it's the same. So 24 right there. 1 third plus 7 eighths equals 29 twenty fourths. This is an improper fraction because 29 is bigger than 24, so we could change it to a mixed number. 24 goes into 29 one time with 5 left over, and then we just bring the 24 across. So 29 24 that improper fraction does equal the mixed number 1 and 5 24 You could check that 1 times 24 is 24, plus 5, that's the 29, and we kept the 24 the same. So that's it. This is Dr. B adding one third plus seven eighths. Thanks for watching.